everyone, happy new year and welcome or welcome back to the cozy corner. My name is Lee and this is my library. So I'll grab a mug of something yummy and settle in for some talk of books. I am very excited to do this video because we are going to be playing the first round of my new, I am almost said favorite and I think it will be my favorite, but my new TBR game called the TBR Raffle. It is basically an elaborate drawing system that helps me decide what books I'm going to read during this particular month. This game was born out of my inability to choose which books I wanted to read and how much I really disliked having assigned reading last year. Um, so I decided, I decided to do away with any challenges and just focus on a personal selection of books for my TBR. So I took all of the titles on my Pinterest page, which you can find linked below, and put them into a game. I shorted, uh, shorted, <laughs> sorted them by genre and put them all in little tiny mason jars. Um, so all the titles are um, on little slips of paper in those jars, ready to be picked. There are a few rules with this game because I wanted to make sure that I oriented my TBR game to fit with my personal goals um, for this channel and for reading in general for 2022. So the first is that I want to make sure that I reread books that are on my shelf um, that I haven't read in a few years to decide whether I actually want to keep them or whether I will donate or re-gift them um, and make room for other titles. And also I wanted to make sure that I actually genuinely spend time reading books that are on my personal TBR. By personal TBR, I mean books that people have gifted to me, that I bought for myself, that weren't part of a particular reading challenge, but mean something to me because I always wanna honor the people who love me enough to buy me books um, and make sure that I am reading the gifts that they bought me. Um, and then I also wanted to make sure that I incorporated my goal of only reading a manageable amount of books in the year. And if I read more than that, that's great. I set my Goodreads goal last year for 100 books and I only made it to 64, which is still great. But I knew that if I was pushing myself, it would end up killing my love of reading again, like what happened when I was in school. Um, so I decided to limit myself to only six titles a month, which averages out to about 72 titles a year. I don't know if I will get that far, who knows, but I'm setting the limit at six books. Um, if I have months where I read more than that, that's great. Even if I don't get to six, that's okay. I just want to have it be a manageable number. So I devised the TBR raffle to incorporate all of those goals into one to make sure that this is a fun, non-stressful, relaxing way of deciding what I want to read for 2022. So those are the rules. Let me tell you how this is going to work. So the first slot for each month is what I'm calling my choice. Every month I decided to give myself a little autonomy and pick one genre that I knew I wanted to read from. And since it is the depths of winter where I am from, I decided that the genre I wanted to pull from for my own choice would be fantasy. So in a little bit, I will draw one title from my fantasy to read uh, jar. The second slot for January is what I am calling my personal TBR. <laughs> like I said earlier, I wanted to make sure that I honored the books that were on my TBR and I didn't neglect them with new books. So I'll be drawing one title from my personal TBR jar, including everything that I own already on my TBR. The third slot for January is what I'm calling my reread choice. Because I have books on my shelves that I need to reread and decide whether I actually want to keep them, I have all of those titles in another jar that I will pick from. And then the last three slots, it's a two stage process. I will first be drawing which genre I'm going to read from. Now, the genre that I chose for my choice, personal TBR and reread are already in here. So I could potentially draw another fantasy, another personal TBR or another reread and nothing gets removed after I draw it from the genre jar. So everything goes back in every month. So I will select three more genres to draw from. And then once I have done that, I will find that genre jar on my shelf and pick a random title. And that is how I will decide my TBR for the month. Whew, I am a little nervous because this is a lot of chaos to submit to. <laughs> but I am also very excited because it will be a good mix of books that I own, books that I've read, and books that I really, really, really want to read. 
hopefully all of that made sense to you. <laughs> I've done this intro like six or seven times because I want to make sure that I'm explaining it clearly. But let's get into playing and hopefully it will make more sense as we go. Let's just start from the top and work our way down. So the genre that I picked for myself for January is fantasy. So let's draw randomly from the fantasy jar. Here it is, chock full of little slips of paper. So I am going to draw one. I have butterflies. <laughs> Stick my hands in. I'm not looking. Fish around until I find something that sticks out to me. I want this one. <laughs> I don't want all the pieces of paper to fall out. Not looking, not looking, not looking, not looking, not looking. What did I grab? Nah, oh no, I lost it. Oh, there we go. This is so stressful not looking to making, make sure. No, oh no, things are falling, things are falling, things are falling, things are falling. Okay, I'm not looking. Oh dear, what is it? <gasps> oh, okay. I got Sorcery of Thorns. Oh. <gasps> Oh dear. I'm gonna put this off to the side for now. We'll talk about it in a minute. That's number one. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so the second uh, slot for January is my personal TBR. Here we go. Swirling around. I just added a few um, to this jar today because I went shopping and also Christmas happened when I got more books. So I want this one, I think. Ooh. What could it be? Oh, okay. Oh no. <laughs> so my dad is currently reading this. But we did get a brand new uh, addition to this cozy murder mystery series for Christmas as a family, and that is the Bookstar Cafe mystery series. Um, I did read several of these during October of last year, so I'm really glad we have the new one. But he's currently reading it. He is a fast reader, so I might be able to beg it off of him in a few days. Next is the reread slot. Here we go. Oh, it could honestly, I included series in here, which might have been a mistake. We'll see what happens. Which one do I want? I think I want this one. I did not uh, take into account how big my fingers are and how small the openings of these jars are. Here we go. I got one. <laughs> what is it? Oh, okay. I think it's a nonfiction. It is. Dangerous Wonder. I think it's by Michael Iaconelli. Yep, over here. Okay, we have a nonfiction in play, a faith nonfiction. That'll be interesting. All right. Now we get into the very tense part. Put in the tense music here, Editing Lee. <laughs> we are going to pick three genres to fill in the remaining three slots of January's TBR. Here we go. Oh, I got one. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> What's the first genre? <gasps> Biography. Okay, we're getting some nonfiction in January. That's the first one. I'll come back to that in a minute. Here's the second genre. This one, this one, this one. <gasps> Dark Academia. Okay. January is shaping up to be very interesting. Third genre for January. Here we go. Ooh, this one. I think I want. Oh, oh, I'll just take the one that fell out. Leave it to chaos. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nonfiction. Can you sense a theme? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so the three additional genres I got for January are uh, 
biography, dark academia, and nonfiction. Whew, okay, let's find those jars. There are dividers in these jars that have two genres, so this one shares with autobiography. But we are going to pick a biography title. Here we go. I have a few good ones in there that I've been wanting to read. I think there's an Obama one in there. Um, let's do this one. Okay, here we go. <gasps> what I mean. Okay, here's the bad thing that I didn't put, or here's the difficult thing. I didn't put who the biography was by or who it was about. I just put the title. So I don't actually know uh, whose this is. I'm going to laugh really hard if this is the Obama one. <laughs> Because that's who I said. Okay, so we have uh, bio what I mean for biography. Okay. Oh, way over here on the end. Divided with contemporary. Don't ask why um, some titles are paired with others. There's literally no rhyme or reason. It's just whatever fit with the other ones. <laughs> whatever fit in the jar, I mean. Okay, here we go. Digging around randomly. This one seems good. What did I get? Oh, interesting. I bet this was probably one of those ones that I put in there because I liked the cover. <laughs> but it is Magic for Liars. Interesting. Okay. We love more magic. We love fantasy. We love a little dark academia in the cold winter months. <sighs> Here's nonfiction. Here we go. We're going digging. Oh, there's so many. I want to get a good one get way down deep in there okay i want this this one sorry that i'm just creepily staring at you i really don't want to look and guess or like choose one with my eyes and then go for that one. Oh, okay stamped no idea what that one's about <laughs> i really should have included like a mini synopsis but i'm not sure that plus the title would have fit in these small jars <laughs> Okay, so I have my six titles. I'm really excited. Um, throughout this video, I will put up pictures of the covers so that if you'll know what I'm talking about, even if I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, now I get to go look for them. I have two of them. I have the reread um, already here, and I have the Bookstore Cafe from the personal TBR already here. So I will be, for the rest, I will be checking my public library first, always support your public library. Um, and then I will be checking secondhand bookstores for the rest um, and then going to independent used book salespeople. So like people who are selling them from their own collections. So that's how I'm going to uh, get my books. Unless it is a new, new release, then I will go to Barnes and Noble. <laughs> Um, but I love supporting independent and my public library, so. Later that same evening. Okay, I have searched and located them all and where I'm going to get them. <laughs> so let's start with the two that I actually have. Um, the first is Dangerous Wonder, which is the reread selection for January. Um, this is all about discovering joy and how joy is a gift from God. Um, <laughs> in which we use it to practice wonder and awe. And so it is about recapturing joy um, and using that to deepen your relationship with God. I used this, I think, one summer at um, camp for like staff training, but there are questions. I think this is a Bible study, um, but it basically deals with exploring a childlike faith and recapturing your joy um, and your love for God. So I'm really excited. Um, it does have a discussion guide. Maybe I'll complete it. Who knows? I think I will probably start with this one first. So that's the goal. Then from the personal TBR is Hot Apple Cider, which is the brand new uh, installment of the Bookstore Cafe mystery series. So this follows the story of Chrissy, who runs the Bookstore Cafe with her best friend, Vicky. And the town Pine Hills is putting together this town celebration at the local library. Uh, in support of the local library. And so Chrissy organizes an apple bobbing um, little stand stall thing at this celebration. And the victim um, bobs for apples and then doesn't come back up. Um, and the victim actually was someone who um, was a little scandalous around town, um, harassed 
um, both Chrissy and Vicky and their business. He was also harassing the library and the school for promoting scandalous books. So we have, have a little bit of book ban drama um, happening. But um, <laughs> I love that what it says here. Um, the victim was notorious for harassing not only her own bookstore, but the library and the school for promoting supposedly scandalous literature before someone censored him permanently. <laughs> Um, basically, um, Chrissy, again, is one of those people who just has to solve a murder. Um, so that'll be really exciting. A good holiday themed book. And then the nonfiction book that I'm reading is Stamped, um, which is by, uh, Ibram X. Kendi, I believe. I apologize if I have that name wrong. I don't have it written down near me. Um, but it is a history of racism in America. A lot of the racist behavior in America was created to defend, um, discriminatory behavior um, and so it explores key figures both on the racism and anti-racism side as America um, journeys towards hopefully resolving things that I think there is a sort of note of hope um, as the book goes on how we can improve. I know that there is I don't think it's a sequel I think it's like a what's the word like an adaptation or a remake in modern times called Stamped uh, Racism Anti-Racism and You and I think that's fairly recent. I could be wrong. Um, but I wanted to read this one first um, because I love an original text. So um, again, this is part of my continuing process of education, um, which I hope that you all are continuing to do. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to um, learn a little bit more about a system that unfortunately um, has been around for quite a while and what I can do to make myself more aware of it and to combat it. But I should also say that one is at the public library so I think I will pick that one up uh, fairly soon. And for my biography I have the Let Me Tell You What I Mean um, biography of Joan Didion. Um, I'm really excited. I love Joan Didion. I wish that I have read more of her stuff. I think I'm probably going to find an audiobook version of this. Um, I don't know why, I just kind of get the feeling that that's how I would enjoy it more, but it includes six of her original writings that really introduces us to the subjects that she focused on primarily in her career. So um, if you like Joan Didion, I think this is a little bit of her origin story when it comes to writing. So really excited to dive into her world. And then the other two, the Dark Academia title and the Fantasy title, are I'm both going to pick up at my favorite independent bookstore called Dog Eared Books. But the first is, of course, Sorcery of Thorns, which is by Margaret Rogerson. And um, that one is about Elizabeth, who has been raised in a library, and it's her job to defend the books in the library, even though the grimoires whisper to her. Until one day, someone pulls a heist and steals the most formidable grimoire in her library, and she has to um, pair up with this um, wizard Nathaniel, or mage, I can't remember what his title is, but magic is kind of outlawed and so they form a kind of unlikely alliance to try and get back the grimoire and battle evil. Um, this has gotten great reviews, I've seen it everywhere on Booktube and Bookstagram, and I can't wait to read it. And then Magic for Liars, which is the Dark Academia title, um, Sarah Gailey, I think, is the author. I apologize again if that's incorrect. Um, but it is about Ivy, who is a private investigator, and she has always been uncomfortable with magic. And she really doesn't want to be like her sister, Tabitha, who is a magically gifted professor. But Ivy, the private investigator, is hired to investigate a murder of a professor at Tabitha's campus. Um, and when she's there, she finds that there is magic involved in the case and it's proving fairly difficult to solve. So that is it for my January TBR. I have some great titles, a lot of nonfiction, but I am excited to read all of them and I can't wait to vlog about them and tell you guys how it's going. <laughs> I am really excited. I think 2022 is going to be a great year for reading for me. It just feels like it, you know? I just have good feelings um, about this year, so I'm going to work hard to make sure that those good feelings stay. <laughs> Um, if you liked this video, if you like the TBR raffle, go ahead and give this video a like. It really does uh, help me out and let me know what you guys want to see. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love that for you to become a um, consistent attender of the Cozy Corner. <laughs> um, as always, a huge thank you to the friends and family who have readily supported me on this journey. It truly means the world to me. And it is a new page, a new year. And yet I can't wait to see what else the year brings. So until we meet again, cheers.